Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today I'm going to be playing some more Dragon Blaze. And the first thing we're going to do is, well, we're actually going to try and beat our score for Golem. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible, though. Nah, yeah, maybe we should, can change a few things around. Where's my formation? I know somebody's out of order. Oh, actually, nobody's out of order. Alright, let's see if we can beat it. Then we're going to check out Tower, just because Tower is pretty much upgraded now to floor 70 from 50. And I'm not sure if I'm going to beat it. <laughs> I'm... Ah, that's probably a low chance of that. But I'm going to try. My Kronos really hasn't, you know, changed from last time we played, so... Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure... Kronos is going to start dying and getting one shot from the start again. Pretty much just because he's plus four. But I'm pretty sure we can try and figure something out. I haven't really worked on my gear. I, I forgot about it. I just started farming um, Challenger again. Because I just wasn't thinking about gear at all. I was just thinking about, man, I'm going to need a lot more allies and a lot more essence. Right now, I think I have like 600 essence and... 78 triple s allies which is actually pretty nice right now you know just pretty much stacking up getting ready but right now we're actually making a lot more score mostly just because we actually put the whole transcended weapons on which are which have pretty interesting skills not sure if they're changing to like a whole bunch but they're doing quite a bit of damage to get us over our previous times I actually put Raven Girl back in. I need to start using Raven Girl more often because she's actually pretty good. The only person I need to get up now is Bell, but at the same time, it's like Bell won't be useful anymore. If anything, if I was to get Bell, I would just probably do it for whole relationship bonuses, which I need to start on after I get everything I need. But the Warlords are my prime priority. Then we're going to have like a huge, well, somewhat of a huge break between Warlords. Because as soon as these guys come in, I don't think we're going to get anything else. At least that's what it was in the Korean version, right? Because I'm pretty sure they had like a huge gap between Warlords. And they didn't release any new ones. All they pretty much started to do was rebalance everything. But even that was actually pretty helpful. I wish they would rebalance everything right now, but maybe we'll get it next week or a week after that or next month <laughs> in general. Ah, I don't know. They don't really do like a roadmap update, which pretty much what Fortnite does. They just give you pretty much a list of the updates of what's going to be coming down the line. It's pretty much like on this day we're going to be trying to put out this fix on this day we're going to be trying to do this patch this character's coming out they don't really do that but it's actually pretty nice that they're doing patch notes before the updates now you know they, they kind of stopped slacking on that <laughs> i can actually see the updates oh yeah transcendent pigs are coming by too oh boy Oh boy. I'm pretty sure Tower's here, right? I'm not just uh, hallucinating and thinking Tower's here. What's coming tonight? Oh yeah, it was Challenger Upgrade. Yeah, so Tower is here. I forgot. Challenger Upgrade is tonight and Transcendent Pages are coming. No, I don't really care about that. All I want back is Shrine. Shrine was so much health. I know we got the burning system and everything, but shrine on top of that would be amazing. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they just permanently took out shrine now that we have the burning system. We don't want to manage it anymore. If anything, they should add new prizes to the freaking um, event stores instead of giving us the same thing over and over. There's really no point in doing the events or getting the items if they're not going to upgrade it and give us new things. There's a lot of things in the game that are really aren't useful to us anymore. 
But in due time, I think they'll change it. There we go. About to say, we, we kind of slacked behind a little bit on those last ones. But we caught back up. But I'm going to skip to the end of this. I don't want to keep rambling on through like 10 minutes of this. Kind of do want to keep in a lot of time for tower. So I'm going to see you guys there. Alright guys, we're almost done. 15 seconds. There is one thing that I kind of want to say. Oh, oh yeah, we did fall off. Jesus. There is one thing I, I kind of want to say, but I don't want to be that guy. But a lot of major companies... Yeah, let's say major companies, like very popular companies, have actually started to slack off, man. They don't really feel like they're trying anymore. Just, you don't feel the passion from them anymore. That's the sad thing. You get more passion from indie game developers than you do, uh, like, a whole studio or company. But we're not gonna, we're not gonna get on that subject. We're just gonna continue through. All right, this is the team I used last time. Let's see if I can get through there once again with just using this team. Hopefully auto isn't on. No, stop it. I mostly just carry Kamel just in case everybody gets one-shotted out of nowhere. Which I know they will. Just wait for it. Boom. One shotted. Kinda saw it coming. Um uh, Chronos? I was about to say, will you use your um skill please? Alright, there we go. Oh jeez. Oh my jeez. Please kill him. He is literally the last person who needs to die. Oh yeah, this stage also has like reflective damage, so that's kind of like something that's gonna be annoying and this guy does not want to die jeez oh wait what disconnect for sorry. wait what what I'm so confused what just happened there a Kronos he really doesn't use his third skill very often the first like and that's the thing that gets on my nerves man like you're the most defensive person we need to use a skill but you're just like you know I'm gonna wait for everybody else to get their skills out of the way and that's another thing I hate about the game is that they use a skill one at a time based on a group they don't just oh hold on yep saw that one coming they don't try to like okay. what is he doing um Okay. Like, I can't do any damage to this dude. Is it impossible to kill him? Like, he's, his HP is going nowhere. Oh, it's starting to go down just like... Barely. Jesus Christ. Rice, dude. This guy's a freaking tank for sure. Alright, let's see if we can try someone else then. My man's like, you know what? I ain't going nowhere. I could. I could. But should. Should? I'm kind of feeling shit. <laughs> Let's just try it out. I don't think it's going to work out, but you know. Eh, kind of interested. If anything, if Percy doesn't work, we'll just change over to Kamel again. Since we have Diane in here, she can probably deal more damage to anybody. Okay, there we go. He finally used the shield on the first turn. That's exactly what we needed. Alright, little damage, a little bit. Nothing major, though. Oh, Jesus. Yep, this is not gonna go well. 
Yeah, this guy has way too much HP. Jesus Christ. Alright. Yep. This is gonna be a challenge. And I think this guy is actually immune to insta kills. Because Graysoul hasn't gotten through to him yet. Huh. Not only that, we're killing ourselves basically with the return damage. We'll figure out something. Actually. I kinda wanna try Raven Go. But I'm pretty sure she's not gonna work out. I just I just wanna see if we can kill the minion faster. Because minions are just like extra damage. But this guy has taunt, that's what it is. Another one has stun and another one has fireball, which is even more annoying. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna work out. Yeah, Graysoul is just fine. But the thing is, he just didn't insta kill them. Yeah, this is gonna be quite something to get through. But then again, if you keep trying teams, keep trying something new, eventually you'll get somewhere. No, I'm not using you. Even though you actually could. Yeah, you actually really could get me through tower. But. Do I really want to put in all that essence and stuff into you right now? Uh, it's tempting. It's, it's very tempting. I can literally get her to arc right now. So tempting. Nah, I'm going to hold off. I need willpower, man. You guys know I don't have any willpower when it comes to those. I especially need willpower just because I need to save up for overlords. And overlords are probably going to send me through tower like really easily once I get them to max. Okay. So where is Come out. Falcon also could help. If I was to make like a full boost team with um, Diane and Graysoul. But then again, I would still need somebody to protect. Hmm. Man, that's the problem where you're so limited to what people you can actually use and you know what's good and what's not. Graysoul is definitely good for clearing out the mobs as long as he's alive. Diane, on the other hand, She's good for dealing, like, a whole bunch of damage. But then again, she can still get, uh, pretty much railed. There really isn't, like, a certain ally dedicated to tower only. You no, know, like, giving the whole team tower boost or something like that. There isn't even one for, um, ROB yet. But I wouldn't doubt there would be one for like the future or something like that. Oh crap. Wait, what? Oh no. I had an auto call on. That's my fault. But yeah, you can see we're barely doing any damage to him. Like, they definitely stepped up the difficulty like really high. <laughs> Once you get to floor 50, they're just like, oh, you can be floor 50? Alright. We'll try floor 51. <laughs> like, the difficulty just jumped up. I turned off auto this time. Let's see if we can get through it. If we can't, then, yeah. Kind of halted me on this. And that just lets me know I'm going to have to wait until Overlords. One, that's two. Killed our other allies that are troublesome. Alright. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy is literally immune to instant kills. Oh, wow, and everybody just died randomly. I gotta say, what is up with this whole connection thing? That's like really random. But yeah, guys, as you can see, I kind of halted on the tower. I'm pretty sure a lot more people said they're kind of stuck still on uh, 49. They can't even get through floor 50. Which, my team is the team that um, I used on episode 104. You guys can go down and look in the comments and see what I used to get through the, like, floor 50. But then again, everybody else has a different team or different luck in different gears from me. <sighs> Man, I got some grinding to do. Especially in gears. Gears will probably help me a little bit more. And I definitely gotta max out my runes. I'm actually quite curious of how many people have made it through though. Because usually the percentage goes up with the more people who finish it. Everybody's using Grayso, everybody's using Gamel, Black, Helios, and Ravengo. Wow, Ravengo is the one I would think would be in there. Oh, this is like the old, old list. Because keys are still up here. Um, this, I feel like this needs to be upgraded. I'm pretty sure a lot more people have been doing tower, but okay. Let's see. A lot of people have participated. 4% have finished. Uh, floor. Oh, 0. Point. 4% I finished this boss and nobody hi wait okay this is all over the place okay this is where people have stopped okay never mind fifty wait yeah fifty five is the highest people have actually gotten to nothing above that so 27 people 73 people only made it to floor 52 and only seven people are stuck on oh Jesus let's go down a little bit more see where everybody else is stuck on some people haven't even started tower <laughs> which you guys probably should because tower has some really good rewards I guess they're waiting for a tower rewards to get upgraded or something, which is kind of not happening anymore until way further into the game. Well, they're not actually going to upgrade tower anymore. They're actually just going to start adding on more and more floors, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, as you guys can see, everybody stopped on floor 55 and most of them are stuck here now. But yeah, guys, as you can see, only 0.16% people have made it to floor 55 and are struggling with it. And there are only, well, most people who are up here who've actually finished tower. Oh, actually, yeah, some people are still on floor 50, like I am. <laughs> and there are only seven people who are stuck on this and 73 who are stuck on floor 52. So yeah, it's kind of a struggle right now for certain people. I'm pretty sure the 27 or 23, whichever one it was, pretty sure it was 27, people who are on 55 have way stronger units and probably are pay players, maybe. I don't really know. But yeah, guys, we're going to end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed me getting wrecked inside of Tower. Jesus, man. It's, it's going to be a struggle for a while, but I'm pretty sure once we get like all the new characters, all the new systems, gears and stuff upgraded and everything... Um, we're definitely going to be able to get through it, but as of now, that, that boss is way too tanky for me. But yeah, that's it then. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose?